I am on the metro today and off there you can see my destination, the skyscrapers of Lu Jiazui in the middle of Shanghai. We'll be there soon. But first, we need to change lines here at Longyang Road. We're on the above ground, line 16 just got off of it. Gotta go now to line 2, which is an underground line. Here we go, making our way to line 2. As usual, it's very crowded. We're actually crossing a bridge over the road here. And here we are, heading down to the train to East Shujing. Exit 2 here is the closest to the center of Lu Jiazui, so we're going to go out here. And here we are, Lu Jiazui. To really get a good picture of what it's like, we gotta pan up. Up! Up! And away! This is one of the most famous sites in Lu Jiazui. The Oriental Pearl Tower. Dongfang. Dongfang Min Ta in Chinese. They're celebrating 30 years since the opening up of Pudong New District new area. Look at how much it's grown. See, this whole area is really pretty new. This area here is Pudong, that is the east side of the Huangpu River. Lingang, where I live, is also part of Pudong, but it's quite far away. Originally, there wasn't really very much here. Farmlands and things like that. But, when China started to open up what's called Gaige Kaifang, which literally means reform and opening up under Deng Xiaoping, this was one of the areas that the Chinese government really wanted to develop. And I would say they did so pretty well. We're up here on a high walkway, an elevated walkway. Going around this floral display in the middle of a roundabout. Surrounded by the huge buildings here in New Jadsway.
ever-present McDonald's. And it's a little hard to see, but underneath the McDonald's, the KFC. These two buildings here, the one in the front, the one that has almost a sort of a crystalline shape, that one's called the Jin Mao Tower. And the one behind it, the one that looks kind of like it has a huge window at the top, is the Shanghai World Financial Center. It's a little bumpy. Each of them was the tallest building in Shanghai when it was completed. But neither is now. No, that distinction belongs to this one that's just coming into view here. The Shanghai Tower. And here it is, in its peculiar, twisty-shaped majesty. Tallest building in Shanghai. And I'm told it's a pretty impressive observation deck at the top that I'm going to hope to get to one of these days. Even puts these two buildings, makes them look pretty small. If you look over there, those distant buildings are on the west side of the river, Kushi. That's where the original city center was, and it's developed pretty well too. But much of the new development is really on this side. It's a major part of the story of China's development since about the 1980s, maybe even the late 1970s. It's become one of the places that in many ways rivals Hong Kong as a commercial and financial center. This looks very Hong Kong-like, but with the big Apple store, even the name IFC, and of course the inevitable HSBC, major fixtures in Hong Kong. But they're here too. And while we're talking about foreign finance, there's city also here. And yes, this is the entrance to a subterranean Apple store. You got a man here checking temperatures because guess what? We're still in a pandemic. It's much more controlled here in China than in some countries, but it's still a pandemic. Yep, it's got a set of weirdly glassy stairs down into this Apple store, which is absolutely and completely full of people. Look at this. And if that's not enough, look at this. And if that's not enough, look at this. Who on earth needs a new iPhone so badly that they're gonna come into this? says the guy who's still using a 6S, but oh well, whatever. IFC Mall, shopping center in here. Abercrombie and Fitch, a Shake Shack, and a Tim Hortons. Do I have any Canadian viewers out there? Any Canadian viewers? who are intrigued by this Tim Hortons in China. Look at this clock with Mickey Mouse on it. Right by a big Disney store. And there's a not-so-hidden Mickey. Chock full of Disney merch. And this little preview screen here. Got a Star Wars section over here. Here's some Marvel over here. And plenty of good old Disney merchandise here. 
This building here is a shopping mall. The super brand mall. Typically for a shopping mall here in China, or at least in a big city, this is a pretty tall shopping mall, not just a wide one like I'd find back home in the U.S. Here's what it looks like inside. Loads of shops here. And also a bunch of big toy cars kids can play with. What a fun. It looks like we got a merry-go-round here in the middle. Oh, uh, the children's place. Only place I've seen that ever in China. So apparently the purpose of this whole shop is for people to play with piglets. I'm not sure I get it, but hey, if people will pay for it, I guess it's fine. And here we are. On our way back out of the shopping mall. On our way out. It's gotten a bit darker out in the time we've been away. Ooh, quite a wind. It's a bit chilly out here. Mao Tower almost perfectly eclipses the World Financial Center here. And here, these towers frame the Shanghai Tower. Big stuff. And now it's about time for us to go. Down here we'll find the entrance to the metro station. And here it is. Hope you've enjoyed this little trip to Lu Jiazui. If you have, feel free to like this video. If you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.